Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Just want to forewarn you, this was a very impromptu video. I hadn't even really intended on driving because I thought I was going to be tied up for longer this morning. Uh, and so I, I had a chance to drive for two and a half hours, but I didn't really get a lot of footage before, you know, just my preparation or anything because I hadn't really prepared to drive. But oh my, what a lucrative morning it was. And I don't want to uh, give too much away, so I'll just say, make sure you get your butt up on Saturday morning and get out the door, because it's totally worth it. All right, let's get into the video. Can you just go by writing? Sure. And then I can see sometimes in the morning too, if I feel kind of funny, because I take a lot of uh, Mm -hmm. and drink. I don't, that's why I'm you're responsible about it though. Well, I don't want to go to jail. <laughs> that's it. Because I won't do well in jail. <laughs> Neither would I. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be perfectly happy. <laughs> it was a pleasure to have met yeah, you. I would just, I'm like, I, I just okay. Yeah, I'm high maintenance. Even though it doesn't seem like it, but yeah. You're the best. I appreciate yeah, I appreciate. You. Thank you so much for your day. Yeah, thank you. You made my day. Yeah. Talking about prisons. It was fun. <laughs> oh my gosh, what the heck? Oh my gosh. So, bird in the hand or two in the bush, right? Wow. Okay, so I didn't really make this video properly, but um, here we go. I'm uh, I'm in Santa Monica right now. Just started. I I just came from. The temple on Santa Monica Boulevard. I remember the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And so uh, we were just up at the temple this morning and I figured I'd throw it on for a couple hours before I have to go to work. My first ride, uh, this is why location matters. My first ride, a short ride, it was five bucks and she gave me a $15 tip. So, and all we did is talk about prisons and prison reform. And my, my father was a, a correctional officer. so. She, she appreciated that, I suppose, and uh, she got a couple laughs, and I did too, because I made 20 bucks in about seven minutes, which was fantastic. So, it's 8.54 in the morning. Um, I'm feeling pretty good. I feel like this is a good decision already. So, we'll, we'll see how things go, and we'll give you an update when we get close to heading home. All right, it's 10.37, I'm headed home. I did three lift trips that were extremely lucrative. I made about 30 bucks on the lift fares and $15 in the cash tip in like less than 40 minutes, which is just like an epic victory. And then I've done three Uber trips. I did three consecutive trips for that $9 bonus. So we're gonna see what, what that did for us. I haven't seen the earnings yet. But oh my gosh, just driving on Saturday is just, Guys, I can't stress it enough. I'm not here to beat a dead horse, but I will do so if it will help motivate you to get up on an early on a Saturday morning. Here I go, I got another another lift destination trip, and this will probably be my last one. Yeah, if it can if I can motivate anyone to get out of bed and drive early on a Saturday morning, I promise you the competition is not that stiff. I, I guarantee that. So if you you know if you work a nine to five on Normal work days, Monday through Friday, you've got Saturday off and you don't have anything going on. Again, I don't drive on Sundays. I imagine it wouldn't be too different on a Sunday. But uh, yeah, if you have nothing going on on a Saturday, go the extra mile and get yourself up. Hey, wife. Hey, you on your way home? Yeah, I'm coming home. I'm, by the way, I'm already ready for work. That might be a concern. All I'm coming home for is just to get my backpack and badge. Okay, all right, good. So yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna go literally just like, maybe switch my pants. Because I, I brought a second pair of pants that um that need the ankles hemmed. So, I mean, in theory, I could just wear this to work. But, I'm yeah, I'll just come home real quick and just grab my stuff and go. All right? All right. See you soon. I love you, babe. Love you too. Bye. Okay, it is 11.05. We just parked. Uh, did seven trips total in not very much time. So, we're going to go inside and do the math on that. It was pretty lucrative this morning. So, the moment you're here for... Uh, I made $40.66 on Uber with $9 being from tips on those four trips. With Lyft, I made $31.34 on the app in those three trips. And then I got a $15 cash tip 
which really helped me crush it today for a gross total of exactly $87. I cannot make that up. Amenities used, there were seven Starburst used and one water, which is about 30 cents. And I drove roughly 40 miles. I did not keep track of my miles, but I drove from Santa Monica up the 405 to the 101 and kind of back through downtown. So it was about 40 miles. I got I only got 43 miles a gallon today. So not quite as good as I normally do. Just under $4 in gas used. My total deductions were $3.97. My net total was just over $83. Bucks and in two and a half hours online, I made an hourly rate of $32.82, which is probably the best I've done in a long time. That's a very difficult figure to keep up. I'm not trying to sugarcoat it or pretend that this is a normal amount that you would expect to make on any day, let alone a Saturday. But it just goes to show you that the part of town you're in and the day of the week that you're driving definitely affects your bottom line. If you can drive when there's no traffic on the road and you're in more affluent areas where you're more likely to get tipped, it certainly does help. Again, this was, I would say, an outlier. This is probably more, you know, it's a very small sample size too, two and a half hours. Um, anything can happen in two and a half hours. You can make nothing in two and a half hours as well. But, um, yeah, just a, another example why it's so crucial to be on the road when there's no traffic, whether that be the weekends in the morning or at night on the, the late night bar rushes or wh wherever, whatever is the time that you have free. When you're on the road when there's no traffic, that's when you can really bank money. So, guys, I hope you appreciated this video. I certainly did. It was a really easy one to make. If you liked this video, go ahead and click that like button. If you loved it, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. We're on the road to 2000. We are just around the corner. Uh, once we hit 2000, I'll have a sock giveaway for you guys from my very own company, thestatemate.com. We make state flag dress socks for all 50 states. And I want to hook some of you guys up with those socks once we get to 2000 subscribers. So guys, as always, God bless you. Get out there and grind. Have a great day.